In this video, we take a look at the custom products extension. Since this is probably the most extensive extension we have developed, we will limit ourselves to the most important features. If you have any further questions, you can always find all the details in our very comprehensive article in the documentation. If this doesn't help either, feel free to contact us directly in our support or in our community channel. So what is custom products? Custom products gives us the opportunity to offer personalized products to our customers. We do this by assigning templates to existing products. I will show you what this looks like. So in your admin, we reach the menu over catalogs and then custom products. We are greeted by the message that there are no product templates yet. So this is why we will create one by clicking on add template. In this menu, we must first give it a technical name. This name is used internally. So it is the name of the template within shopware and does not appear in the storefront itself. So at first we need an idea of what we want to offer personalized here. We offer gifts in our shop. So a nice personalization for our example would be a greeting message. So let's call the template greeting card and also set it active straight away. The next field is the display name. This is also displayed in the shop itself, for example, in the storefront. So let's call our template greeting message. Um, the same applies to the description. This is also um, being displayed later with the product itself. Um, the description field is an optional field, which we can tell by the fact that there is no star next to the field. We could also add an image to the option at this point. Um, for our purpose, however, the text is sufficient. Um, so we will add no image. Below this, um, we, yeah, uh, below this, we can activate the step-by-step -step mode and the step-by-step -step mode ensures that not all options are displayed at once, but that they are configured step-by-step. -step. Um, this mode is useful when I have a lot of options, which can make the normal view for the product detail page look cluttered and literally overwhelm the, uh, the customer. Um, since we have only one option where our customer will leave the greeting message, uh, we don't know. Yeah, we, we don't, or we will not activate the step-by-step -step mode. Um, yeah, then we've got the self collapsing, uh, collapsing option. Um, the self collapsing option has the same purpose when enabled, all options are displayed in a collapsed manner. Again, this serves to make the product detail page less cluttered. Um, the last option, customers need to confirm their configurations. Um, this ensures that the customer has to activate a checkbox at the end of the configuration to confirm that they have checked the options they have chosen and that they are correct. Yeah, at the end, just click save. Then a new section appears at the very bottom, the options. Um, with these, we create the choices that our customers will have later. We have a wide variety of options here. For example, the checkbox. So a simple yes or no section or the selection field. Um, yeah, for several options that we defined beforehand, we can also enable an 
image upload so that the customer can upload an image to us for example for an engraving or use the image section or the image image uh, yeah the image select to decide for ourselves which images we give the customer to choose from it's best to check the documentation for a detailed explanation of what each type does for our greeting card we will use the text area because we want to allow our customers to write a longer message a text field would be practically the same but shorter here too we have to define a name um, this name will appear in the shop itself as the heading for the option when we are finished we just click on add um, for each option type there is a corresponding menu that allows further configuration for our text area it looks like this our name greeting card has already been taken over um, here we don't want our greeting card to be a mandatory option surely we have customers who just want to order gifts for themselves in the description you can as always just type what you want but in our case i think this will fit um yeah um since the individual options will later be displayed as separate items we can still enter yeah an option product number in this field uh, the placeholder gives us the possibility to already write an entry into our text fields ourselves until the customer does so this could be uh, something like this um with the fields minimum minimum or maximum length uh yeah we define how short or how long the greeting message must be at minimum or maximum the last setting options in this menu refer to the additions so here we set whether we want to charge extra for our greeting message uh, message or not the relative surcharges is a percentage based on the price of our product for example a 10 percent increased purchase price if our greeting message is claimed if the option is not activated we can also uh, configure a fixed surcharge for example a fixed amount um, it's important to note that only one of these two surcharges can be active at a time so relative or fixed um, in our example we decide on a fixed surcharge so we have to first set a tax rate um, yeah and then enter the price so in our case our greeting card will cost one euro um, the option below advanced surcharges um yeah makes it possible to create even complex rule-based surcharges but this is not necessary for our example uh, so i will skip this um, if i had chosen an option type that allowed multiple choices for example i could use surcharge once per order to specify that the customer only has to pay this surcharge once even if they have chosen multiple options rather than having to pay the searches uh, for each choice the last item on the far right allows us to define currency dependent prices in case we want to offer yeah different prices for different currencies that are not covered simply by yeah converting the exchange rate with apply we finish the configuration of our text area and immediately see that it now appears in our overview
Of course, we have to save our template by clicking on save. Now that our template is ready, we can add it to our products. So let's go to our yeah catalog and then product and just click uh, on the products you want to assign the template to. So in the specification tab, um, yeah, you will find the custom products section a little further down and the template assignment. Here we select the template we want to assign um, yeah, to our product. So our greeting card, uh, which we have given the technical name greeting card. Again, we save this and yeah, we'll now look at the result right away in the storefront. And this is what the result looks like. We now have the option um, in the product detail page to create a greeting card. Um, so just click on this field, write your greeting message in here. So we will just enter something and then click on add to shopping cart. Um, in the shopping cart, uh, we can also click on this little arrow here. Um, so yeah, to see an overview of the configuration we have chosen. As mentioned at the beginning, our custom products extension is probably the most extensive one we have to, on offer. So feel free to try for yourself what you can do with it and what configuration possibilities the individual option types offer. And that brings us to the end of this part of the user training.